So this is a student Jimi Hendrix, and he is ready to configure Nextcloud to use as an exchange folder for our seminars. So he already followed all the instructions. He has his Ubuntu system running. In his case, he's using VirtualBox. He already installed and Grader, installed Jupyter Notebook. He's using Anaconda and Anaconda environments, but it's up to you. There are many different ways how you can do it. This is how Jimi Hendrix is doing it. This is how we offer some instructions to do it. So now that Jimi Hendrix is ready, he's going to configure the next cloud in his Ubuntu system. So for that, there is the next cloud documentation creating web DAV mounts on the Linux command line. So if you're not familiar with Linux, this can be a bit tricky, but all the instructions are here and we also have the instructions in our um, notebook, the introduction notebook, and I will guide you step by step on what to do. So Jimi Hendrix is here in his home folder and what he's going to do is to open this folder in the terminal. So now Jimi Hendrix has a terminal where he can execute commands and he is inside his home folder. So the first thing that Jimi Hendrix is going to do is to install the dev fs2 the webdav file system driver which allows you to mount the webdav shares just like any other remote file system so for that jimmy hendrix will just do sudo apt-get install dav fs2 then we put the password user password for jimmy hendrix so Jimi Hendrix already installed DAVFS2 and we can now add our user, so Jimi Hendrix user, to the group of DAVFS2. So for that, we do sudo user mod add to group DAVFS2 and here is your username. So Jimmy Hendrix case, his username is Jimmy Hendrix. So now Jimmy Hendrix is on the DAVFS2 group. Now we are going to create a directory for the next cloud. For that, we do make dir mkdir home next cloud. So now we see that there is a Nextcloud folder inside our home directory. And we also need to create a folder for the personal configuration file for the DAVs FS. So have in mind that this Nextcloud here, we are going to use for the mounting point of our Nextcloud. Nextcloud is in the cloud of the human now, and we are going to mount it in our system. And this directory here that we just created is the mounting point. But we also need a place where we will store this DAVSFS configuration files. And for that, we will create a directory with mkdir make directory at home, and this is this DAVS fs2 so let's go and create it you see that now you will not see this directory here because it's hidden if we go here to our home and then we show hidden files now we see the dav fs s2 so you see that all these folders that have a dot they are hidden folders now we need to copy a file called secrets that it's located at the etc fs 2 to this hidden folder that we just created there and we do it by cp etc secrets to home 
is hidden Davos secret. So we are copying this to here. We don't have permission, so we need to use sudo. This file has some different permissions and we need to change the permissions. We need to make the permissions read, write, owner only. And we also need to change the ownership of this file. So first we are going to change the ownership. So we do sudo get here a bit upper let me clear so it becomes sudo and we have change owner so the Linux username is Jimi Hendrix Linux username again is Jimi Hendrix and here is the home WFS secrets that we just copied on in the previous step. So, okay. And we also need to change the permissions using the change mod. So we do sudo chmod 600 and this is the secrets. So, you need to look at the documentation, how to change permissions. There are different ways how to do it. In this case here, we are giving the uh, read-write owner only permission. If you change this number here, you can change the different types of permissions and you'll find this in the Ubuntu documentation. So now we change the permissions. So we are going to CD into this DAVS FS and then open an editor and open the secrets inside this editor. Or we can also sudo nano. I'm going to use this editor and I'm going to open this file in the nano editor. So I have now this file. So at the end of this file, we are going to add our next cloud mounting point, this directory, and our next cloud username. So in the case of Jimi Hendrix, we have home Jimi Hendrix next cloud. So we have here home Jimi Hendrix next cloud. See the properties here home Jimi Hendrix next cloud. So we need to include this mounting point, and also in Jimi Hendrix case, we need to put the next cloud username. So is your TU Ilmeno next cloud username? So now we can save it and we move to the next step. The next step is to add the mount information to this etc slash f step. So there is something called etc slash f step. That is a static file system information. So we need to add a few things inside it and we will do the same how we did using nano. Let me clear the screen again. So we do sudo nano etc f stab. We have this information. Here I'm going to delete this because I had previously changed before to perform some tests. And 
we are going to add a pend here, the next cloud server path, the mounting point, some options, everything together in one single line. So we have here our cloud TU human LDE remote PHP dial files. Instead of Gerhardschule, you need to put your username here. In the case of Jimi Hendrix is 8617. Then we need our mounting point. In the case of Jimi Hendrix was Jimi Hendrix next cloud. Then we have .fs user, this you don't change. Then we have read and write. This is automatically, so every time you start your Ubuntu system, it will automatically mount. And then some 00 for the other options. And you can look at the documentation to find out what these other options are. If you don't want it to automatically mount it, there is also a way, and instead of using auto here, you would put no auto. But then you need to mount manually every time you want to access it. So I'll leave it on auto, and then we can save. And this step is also done. So now, Back here in the home, we see that Nextcloud is empty. There is nothing inside, so we can mount Nextcloud. Then we need to authenticate. So I'll put here my username, my password, and we have now the Nextcloud with a lot of folders and files and when the instructor have shared the seminar folders with you, you should see, so in case of Jimi Hendrix, he has the audio coding seminars, ADSP seminars, and they are now mounted here in your system. Then the next step is to configure and be greater to use these folders here, but for now, you can already access your Nextcloud files from your Ubuntu system.